Welcome back to the channel. All along we've been talking about uh, having our repository locally on our computer for some edits in our IDE. So before we start editing, uh, we realize that we actually need to work on a branch. Uh, one of the reasons why we don't work in our particular folder is so that we can keep it uh, fresh so that when we recollect all the changes that have been coming in through other contributors, we actually have a folder that is not having a number of changes that uh, were not made. So what we'll do is uh, we'll actually make a branch, which is sort of like a, another section. So I'll open up the integrated terminal and I'll type git branch so that I can be able to make another, just to see how many branches I have in my repo locally. And you realize we only have one branch and which is the master. When we go on to our online, we'll just create another branch which I will call link-edits because we're going to edit the links so it will make more meaning. So when you click uh, the create branch, it will create the new branch of uh, link-edits right here. So if we type a uh, git branch, you realize that we have master branch just in there. And now what we need to do is also create the branch locally. So we'll do git branch and then type link dash edits just so that we can uh, mirror what's up online and then uh, next we shall do git branch to see the how many branches we have and we have two branches right there now now what we need to do is actually just git checkout and then type links dash edits to go into our new branch and when you hit enter we shall actually switch to the new branch now you don't need to be worried about um, whether that will be a that will affect uh, our local server side. Git automatically switches that for us, and from that point on, even if we refresh, we'll be working from the new branch that we are working under. So we are now ready for our changes. So what I'm going to do is actually go into Edit, click Find in Files. So that I use my IDE to help me find that premium support text uh, that we are looking for in our plugin. And once I hit enter, you realize two results come back. One is for the translation, which is uh, the premium support. And then next we have the one that has all the links in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, just use my editor to change whatever is coming through. We're going to realize that this link has an apply filters section so we can actually change this through a filter uh, to change that url but right now this is the core plugin and we don't need to use filters to change that for now what we're going to do is i am actually just going to go to right to the repository and when i go into the classic press research repository i want to get the issues link so i'll copy that from the address bar go back to my editor and then I'll just paste that over uh, the link that we do have right now. Uh, when I paste that I'm sure that we're going to be going in the right place. Then next I'll change the area label content uh, that is for the accessibility bit. So I'll just change that uh, from this premium support to support. So if we save that and then just go and check in our browser just to see whether everything is all right. Now if we go back to the admin section and refresh, we'll see that everything changes to what we change it to be. So the support actually goes to the right place. However, it's playing within the same browser. So I want to make one final change and that is to add a target attribute to the link. So I'll add target is equal to underscore blank and that will ensure that whenever we hit that link, it actually opens in a new browser. So if we reload one more time and actually just hit that support, we'll see that it opens up in a new page. And I'm happy with what's going on because I want the, the person using the plugin to keep that plugin page open. So all we need to do is go back into our editor, into the terminal, and then we'll add those changes into our Git versioning system. So what you need to do is actually just type something simple, which is git add dot, which will select all the files that have been changed at that particular time and add them to the staging area. And right now we just have only one file 
and that's why it's actually highlighted yellow and marked with the M to show that it is modified. So I'll just do the git add and then hit enter and once I do that uh, I'll just do the git commit dash M and then add a proper message. So git commit with a message that is uh, adding proper support link for github. So once we hit enter, one file has been changed, now integrated terminal, and then once we are done with that we shall be able to push this onto our online uh, platform. So I'll catch you in the next video, uh, please subscribe or like and to or ask any questions to see how far we can progress with this particular project.